In the grimy, fog-laden streets of 1888 London, a malevolent figure emerged from the shadows, leaving a trail of horror in its wake. This chilling figure was none other than Jack the Ripper, a ruthless and unidentified killer who held the East End of London in a grip of terror. The Ripper's reign of violence was concentrated within a mile radius, in or near the Whitechapel district, an area infamous for squalor, violence, and crime. From August to September of that year, at least five women fell victim to his brutal methods, their bodies mutilated in a way that suggested the killer had substantial knowledge of human anatomy. The savagery of these crimes earned him the grim moniker of Leather Apron. As autumn leaves began to fall, so did the victims of this merciless predator, each one adding to the growing dread that had gripped the city. As London trembled in fear, the police received taunting letters, allegedly from the killer himself. These correspondences, dripping with menace, were sent to Scotland Yard, the heart of London's law enforcement. Each missive was a chilling cocktail of gruesome details, brazen taunts, and unnerving speculations about the murders yet to come. These were not just letters, they were psychological warfare designed to instill terror and sow chaos. In one such letter a name emerged from the ink, a name that would become synonymous with the terror of 1888, Jack the Ripper. This moniker, as chilling as it was mysterious, originated from this very correspondence. However, the authenticity of this letter remains a topic of debate with many believing it to be a hoax, a macabre joke in the midst of a reign of terror. With each letter the mystery deepened, the fear intensified, and the name Jack the Ripper became etched in the annals of crime. Over the decades, countless theories and over a hundred suspects have been put forward, each adding a new layer to the enigma. Theories have ranged from the plausible to the downright bizarre. Some have suggested that Jack the Ripper could have been a skilled surgeon due to the precision of the mutilations. Others have proposed that he may have been a butcher or a slaughterhouse worker, accustomed to the gruesome nature of his crimes. Among the more sensational theories, some have even linked the crime to famous figures of the time. The famous Victorian painter Walter Sickert has been accused based on alleged clues in his artwork. A Polish migrant, a local fishmonger, even the grandson of Queen Victoria have all found themselves under suspicion. Each theory spins a tantalizing tale, adding to the lore of Jack the Ripper. Yet despite all the theories the true identity of Jack the Ripper remains shrouded in mystery. The Autumn of Terror ended as abruptly as it began, leaving behind a mystery that continues to baffle and intrigue us even today. The streets of Whitechapel, once echoing with fear and dread, fell into an eerie silence. The brutal killings that had held the city in a vice-like grip suddenly ceased. The phantom who had been known as Jack the Ripper had seemingly vanished into thin air. The fascination with this case, however, did not end with the cessation of the murders. If anything, it only intensified. Over the years, scholars, detectives, and enthusiasts alike have delved into the murky depths of this unsolved mystery, seeking answers that remain elusive. The lack of concrete evidence has been a significant hurdle in this quest. The few clues left behind by the killer have been lost or contaminated, a testament to the rudimentary state of forensic science in the late 19th century. Adding to the complexity of the situation is the sheer amount of misinformation and false testimony surrounding the case. Over the years, countless individuals have claimed to have solved the mystery, their accusations often based on conjecture, personal bias, or even outright lies. This has only served to muddy the waters, making the truth even harder to discern. Furthermore, the investigation was hampered by the tight regulations enforced by the Scotland Yard. The police were operating under strict codes of conduct and were often left with their hands tied. They were unable to pursue certain leads or use methods that might be considered standard in modern investigations. This, coupled with the pressures from the media and the public, often led to hasty conclusions and missed opportunities. As we delve into the 21st century, the shadow of Jack the Ripper continues to loom large. The identity and motives of this monstrous killer remain as elusive as ever, shrouded in a cloak of uncertainty and speculation. The enduring mystery of Jack the Ripper serves as a chilling reminder of the dark underbelly of human nature, a testament to the depths of depravity that one can descend into. More than a century later, the shadow of Jack the Ripper continues to loom over us a chilling reminder of the enduring mystery that is his identity and his motives.